Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this activity I wanted to share with you. It's something that I put together for my daughter to play with her hundred uh, with hundred chart. I made this grid using a computer software. I think I used Word for this. Um, so it goes from one to one hundred, and of course she knows how to count to one hundred and a thousand more. But um, I want her to be able to do this mental math counting, like, you know, not use her fingers and stuff like that. So we're just playing games to reinforce that. Um, so you can see it's a blank 100 chart. And the, the way that we played this game was with a couple of dice. And you simply, oh, hold on. I came up with a little table on top like this. I don't know if there's a principle or any activity like this online, but I just thought of it and she loved it and it works. So what we do is we um, we roll a dice once. So we got number one. At, the fir at first we'll just put the dice like that and then five and she'll tell me that's 15. So she have to find 15, and instead of counting counting all the way to 15, she'll just count one, two, three, four, five, and she said, okay, plus 10 it will be one place down, and that will be 15. So this way she would know that one down is 10 more, one up is 10 less, one to the right is one more, and one to the left is one less. So she was practicing this with this game and it's working great. She loves it and it's very effective. Um, for higher, uh, higher numbers, because of course with this dice, you're only gonna get 66 as the highest number. Um, so what we came up with was rolling two dice for one number. So you have a nine and then you roll again and you have eight. Right, so now you have to find 98. Um, if you happen to get like like 11, you know, for, I don't know, let's say you have no number and then you roll an 11, don't write 11. In this case, you just go, okay, let's do, let's find 11 instead. So we have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, that's it. Um, it's your game, you make the rules. So no problem. And it's fun because my daughter came up with a couple of solutions for this issues, you know, because we don't have dice that go, you know, only to 10. So uh, what you can do also is you can uh, cover up the six or the five or something. I don't know. If you come up with something, let me know. But uh, we played like this and she really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, we roll one die for one number and then the other one for the other number and then we'll roll two dice for one number and then roll it two of them for the next number. So it was really fun and it was really nice to see her. Um, let's say we, you know, we rolled 56 and then she's like, oh, we already know where 15 is. So I know this is 25, 35, 45, 55. So here it must be 56. And she came up with that, um, like she thought of it. It was a mental math that she did and it was really fun. Um, and the more that we played it, the more she can find numbers without even counting like six, uh, 25, 35, she'll go all the way like this. Oh, here, 55. And that's it. Um, so this is the game that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you liked it, that you give it a try if you're teaching your child something like this. Um, let me know if you have any other ideas that you can share with me. I can try with my daughter. I would love to know them. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.